Imagine creating stunning AI images like these without expensive hardware or complex setups. What if I told you that you could generate breathtaking AI art for free right now using cloud-based GPUs? In this video, you will learn how to set up Stable Diffusion on Lightning AI's cloud platform, giving you the ability to generate AI art without local installations or downloads. The best part? You can do all this using Lightning AI's free plan, no credit card required. So let's get started. We'll be setting up Stable Diffusion Web UI from Automatic 1111, a user-friendly interface that makes AI image generation easy. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a free, powerful AI art studio at your fingertips. Here's what we'll cover. Setting up a Lightning AI account, installing Stable Diffusion Web UI, downloading models, and generating amazing AI art. If you're completely new to Lightning AI, check out my in-depth tutorial on getting started with the platform, linked in the description. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be creating incredible images without spending a dime on hardware. First, let's set up our Lightning AI account. Head to Lightning AI and click Start Free. Use a professional or educational email for instant access. Personal emails might face a short waiting period. Once you're in, create a new studio by clicking New Studio and selecting the Code Environment. This will be our cloud workspace for stable diffusion. Take a look at your newly created studio you'll see a main.py file with some basic code to get started. Go ahead and delete it by right-clicking and selecting Delete Permanently. We won't need it, and having it there might cause confusion later on. Now notice that random name given to you at the top of the studio. It would be way easier to remember if you gave it a custom name. Take a moment to rename your studio so you can find and identify it easily next time. Stable Diffusion Web UI is hosted on GitHub, and to install it, we'll need to clone its repository into our studio. Let's copy the repository link for this process. In your Lightning AI Studio, open a new terminal window within by clicking on the Terminal tab. In the terminal window, type git clone followed by the URL of the Stable Diffusion Web UI repository and press Enter. A few seconds later, the Stable Diffusion Web UI repository should be cloned into your studio and you'll see a new directory called Stable Diffusion Web UI appear in Explorer here on the left. Next, we need to make a few tweaks to the configuration. Open the webuiuser.sh file. First, we need to prevent Stable Diffusion Web UI from creating a new virtual environment. We'll do this by uncommenting this line in the script and replacing the virtual environment variable with a dash. This change ensures the script uses the existing Python interpreter, which is important because your studio is already running in a virtual environment and Lightning doesn't support creating an additional one. Next, let's enable an accelerated launch for stable Diffusion Web UI by uncommenting this line here. These adjustments will help stable Diffusion Web UI run smoothly and start up faster on the Lightning AI platform. There are many models available online and you can find them on sites like Hugging Face or Civit AI. Let's use the Juggernaut XL model as an example. To download its checkpoint file, you'll need to run a specific command in the terminal within Lightning Studio. The command format looks like this. Here's how it works. Replace model name with a name you'll easily recognize later, like Juggernaut XL. This will be the file name for your model. For download URL, right-click on the model's download button on Civit AI and select copy link address. Lastly, 
API token is your unique API key from Civit AI. You might not need it for every model, but if required, sign up on Civit AI, create an API key under Account Settings, API Keys, and generate a new one. Remember to keep your API key secure. Once you run the command, the model will start downloading. In just a few seconds, it will be ready to use in Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now for the exciting part, let's generate an image. First, switch to GPU mode by clicking the Studio Environment button and selecting Switch to GPU. This will bring up a list of available GPU servers, showing their specs, cost, and estimated waiting time until they're ready for use. With Lightning AI's free tier, you get 15 tokens per month. Each token is worth $1, which can give you up to 22 hours of free GPU time. Let's start with the cheapest option, T4. Please note that it might take a few seconds or sometimes over a minute for Lightning AI to prepare this instance, depending on system load and other factors. When your GPU is ready, you'll get a confirmation pop-up asking you to switch. Once you've confirmed the switch, your studio will be running on GPU mode. To make sure it remembers this setting, check the Remember Last Used Machine box so next time you launch your studio, it will automatically go into GPU mode, saving you time and hassle in the long run. This step is really important because if it's not set, Stable Diffusion Web UI won't start properly. Now, run Stable Diffusion Web UI with these commands. CD Stable Diffusion Web UI to navigate to the right folder and dot slash web UI dot sh to run the Stable Diffusion Web UI start script. The first time you run Stable Diffusion, it will install all the necessary dependencies and automatically download a Stable Diffusion model. However, this default model is an older basic version, Stable Diffusion 1.5. You can verify this by checking the model folder located at Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion, where you'll find the version 1.5 model downloaded. Now, look towards the top of the terminal output. You'll see a message stating, running on local URL, followed by a URL. Take note of the port number in this URL, as we'll need it later. This confirms that Stable Diffusion is running successfully. Our next step is to set up access to the interface. Although Stable Diffusion Web UI is running now, we can't just copy and paste its URL into our browser because it's hosted in a separate cloud environment. To connect to it, we'll use a plugin called Part Viewer. This will create a temporary tunnel that lets us view the app's interface or output through our web browser. Just tap the plus button in the top right corner to get to the plugin installer. From there, head to Web Apps, find Port Viewer and let it download. Next, create a new port by clicking New Port in the Port Viewer plugin. Label it something like Stable Diffusion Web UI. Then set the port number to 7860. Once you've created this port, you'll be able to access the Stable Diffusion Web UI app and will be almost ready to start generating images. Let's try this prompt of a scientist sitting in a lab. Incredible, right? And all this without any local GPU. Let's simplify things even further. In your Lightning Studio, locate a file named onstart.sh. This script executes every time your studio launches. We'll add the commands to start Stable Diffusion here, so it runs automatically next time without needing to open the terminal. Finally, let's put our studio to sleep and start it up again to check if everything works correctly. When the studio starts up again,
do wait until the progress bar reaches a 100% and then disappears. It will take a few seconds, even minutes, to start up because it has to execute the start script from Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now it's done starting up, you can immediately go to the port viewer and start up Stable Diffusion. If you like, you can even open it in a separate window which makes it more convenient. Now it's time to generate some more images. With the Juggernaut XL model, I recommend setting the image dimensions to 10, 24 by 10, 24 pixels. For the sampler, I'll choose UniPC. There are plenty of other settings you can adjust, but I've covered those in another video, so feel free to check that out. Now let's add a prompt, like a man from the Victorian era, and click on Generate. In just a few seconds, you'll have your image completely free of charge. You can download it into your Lightning AI Studio and then onto your local machine whenever you want. By the way, you'll find all the images and prompts in the written version of this tutorial on my website, which I'll link in the description. And there you have it! You've just set up a powerful free AI art studio in the cloud. No expensive hardware, no complex local setups, just pure creativity at your fingertips. Don't forget to check out the description for a detailed written guide and useful links. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.